So especially you had a bit of a moment near the swimming pool today, but you saved it. Did that remind you of how unforgiving Monaco can be? Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess there's a mistake in the first place. I shouldn't be sideways at that point. But uh, I guess I was also a bit lucky, so it was a good save. But uh, yeah, definitely my heart rate was, was going up. Yeah. And how is it in the wider cars with the kind of more limited visibility? Yeah, it's just issue? less room. And um, I think the biggest difference is that you see less because the tires are bigger and the cars are quite stiff. Everybody, I guess, is in the same boat. So um, in terms of ride, curbing, all the little bumps, uh, it's quite a lot more of a handful compared to the past. We are slower, but in terms of um, just the ride, you know, even you go through the tunnel and it's not any more as easy as it used to be. And looking to tomorrow, where can you make up time? On your um, well, I think tomorrow we need to make sure we have a clean lap. That will be the key, especially in Q1 with the busy track, hopefully going through to Q2. But now we are sitting together and seeing what we can fine tune on the setup. We tried some things, not sure all of them worked. So uh, now it's about filtering out um, and, and keeping the good stuff. So Alex, how was it out there in practice? How did the car feel? Good actually, you know, um, we were pretty confident going into it, just on the on the basis of Miami that should hopefully suit us a bit more than Barcelona, and uh, and it feels good out there. I think we're you know we're not a million miles away. We're a few more tenths, and we we could be in near the top tenths. So uh, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Where are the areas that you kind of want to work on overnight? Low speed. So there's a few corners where we miss pretty much all our lap time. Um, sector two. Uh, is where it's at, that kind of the hairpins and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's not necessarily an easy fix, but we'll, uh, we'll, fix, we'll, we'll try and work it out tonight. Optimistic for the rest of the weekend? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to give it everything. I think uh, I see why not. You know, Hopefully Q2 can be, a, can be a real thing and then we'll see what the weather does. Yeah, we spoke this morning, I think you knew it would be a challenge, but was it challenging in the way you expected or different? Yeah, difficult, but like always in Monaco, I must say I'm, uh, I'm really, really happy uh, with this Friday in terms of performance. We were definitely always, uh, always on top of the midfield, so that's really positive. Obviously hard, uh, I know we're working quite hard at the wheel, but uh, as you would expect in Monaco. It seems like you've got the performance out of a soft tyre. Are you confident you can progress through the weekend on that, both quali and race? Um, I must say, yeah. You know, so far we, we, we've showed a lot of uh, a lot of positive, I would say. Um, on this Friday, I, I managed to do like clean laps, uh, put things together, and, and be competitive. You know, I would not say I'm still feeling 100% comfortable because. Uh, Touched the wall a couple of times there and there, trying to find the limits. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm I'm pretty pleased, and and we'll do um, we'll try to do a step uh, forward again for tomorrow. And in terms of traffic, it's going to be quite hectic tomorrow. Q1 is going to be a dangerous time to be out on track. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to try to find the, the right spot. Uh, you know, it's a short track. A lot of uh, cars and competitive drivers who try to find the, the best spots um, on a on a very tiny track so yeah for sure it's not going to be easy i think honestly we we have the pace to go through in q2 for sure this, this weekend and uh, we just need to to keep it clean not do any mistake or be involved in any silly situation and um yeah we'll, we'll focus on that tomorrow